it is impossible, I think, to convey the the gratitude that both Jamie and I have for uh, the wealth, the absurd riches of good wishes and thoughts and prayers that came our way during this bizarre September and October when we both lost our mothers. Um, the love that washed over us really helped us get through. Um, and not that we wouldn't have not gotten through without it, but it just made it so much easier to know that there are people out there. And so I say thank you more than words can say. But let's try this sonnet. I thank you. By Henry Timrod. I thank you, kind and best beloved friend. With the same thanks one murmurs to a sister when, for some gentle favor, he hath kissed her, less for the gifts than for the love you send, less for the flowers than what the flowers convey. If I indeed divine their meaning truly, and not unto myself ascribe unduly things which you neither meant nor wish to say, oh, tell me, is the hope then all misplaced? Am I flattered by my own affection? But in your beauteous gift, methought I traced something above a short-lived predilection, and which, for that I know no dearer name, I designate as love. Without love's flame. Sonnet, I Thank You by Henry Timrod. Indeed, love without love's flame. Friendship, caring, kindness. We all could use that a little bit of that, probably more than we ever get on a daily, weekly, yearly basis. So, I thank you for all your kindness, kindnesses. I will try to be equally and even more kind, exponentially kind. <laughs> anyway, thank you all. You have helped us get through this. And thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>